you know, I'm probably making this video at the perfect time. I know it might look like late evening, but it's actually 9 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, you know, when I was growing up, going to my grandma's house on a Sunday, we always went on Sundays, you know, to church. Uh, I loved the evenings. Oh my God. We'd play hide and go seek. I apologize for the traffic noise. We would uh, play hide and go seek. And we're talking about all through the 70s. I mean, from 1970 to 1979. From when I was seven years old to up when I was about 16 and uh, here both I mean it was fun back in my days but I dreaded hearing this you know when, when you're playing when you're playing like that you're all hot and sweaty and you don't realize time you don't know what time it is you know it's dark getting you know getting dark and my grandma had all kind of places to hide she had a she had a garage she had beautiful rose bushes and but we'd be having so much fun playing hide and go seek oh boy oh man and all of a sudden, you I would hear, Okay, kids, we're going home. You know, it's school tomorrow. Oh, God. I tell you what. You know, Sunday nights, we always got home about 9.15, straight to bed. Back in my days, you... When your dad or mom told you to go to bed, you went to bed. There was no staying up. There was no back talking to your parents like there is today. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I'll see a kid still in school in his bedroom making a video. And maybe see, happen to see their alarm clock. It'll say midnight on school night. <laughs> I never got that privilege. No. Anyway, 99% it was my mom, you know, going, saying, Okay, kids. Sorry, that son is a little glaring in my eyes. Okay, kids. We're going home. I hate hearing that. We go from a fun time. And we got, we just live three miles, just three miles, but we get home directly to bed, school night. I, oh, I, oh, I hated, I hated leaving grandma's. I, oh, God, I hated leaving grandma's. It was a wonderful place. I hated leaving grandma's. And I hated hearing that. Hey, kids! We're going home. But you know, when I look back at it all, what I wouldn't give to hear that again. I'd give everything I own just to go back to the 1970s. What I wouldn't give just to hear that again. Just to feel... You know, going to bed, school night. What I wouldn't give to hear and do all that all over again. I guess that's just the way life is. You know, it just... You take it for granted. All, all temp kids do, I guess. Hey kids, we're going home. And I hated hearing that because I was leaving Grandma's. Most wonderful place on earth. And she lived in town. 
Still did. You know, uh, back in my days, Mainville, Ohio was the perfect town. You never heard of anything bad. What I wouldn't give to do all that all over again. To hear that. Hear my mom. You Sometimes my dad would. Hey, kids were going home. But 99% was my mom. What I wouldn't give to, re, to, re, to relive the 1970s. So it was the most amazing simple time. It was wonderful. The 1970s was incredible. It, it was godsend. Peaceful, simple. The world seemed quiet. We only got world news only on Monday, Monday through Friday, one time a day, 6.30 to 7. There was no, no, no 24-7 news. Thank you, God. Just one time a day, 6.30. And that was only Monday through Friday. So the world seemed so peaceful and quiet back in my days it was wonderful it was amazing and I miss that so so much